miracle out of mold. That same green mold which everyone has seen growing in bread or ruining fruit and vegetables. This evil looking fungus would still be regarded as a pest were it not for a brilliant doctor, Professor Alexander Fleming of St Mary's Hospital London, who discovered that it produces the drug known as penicillin, the marvellous new cure for various types of blood poisoning. The romantic story of penicillin started in 1929, when by chance some mould was blown onto a deadly germ culture with which Fleming was experimenting. From that chance, plus the observation that round the mould the microbes were dying, has come a life-saving drug. A specimen has been sent from overseas to the South African Medical Research Institute in order to obtain a standard culture. From this small pellet, the fungus will be made to grow. It is treated with very great care, for on it many lives will depend. The pellet is dropped into a fluid and emulsified. There are many kinds of penicillium mold, but this is the only one which has the power to produce the healing drug. The solution is then placed in other tubes containing a culture medium, in which it will thrive and grow. It's a slow process which accounts for the small quantities available. The solution is next put into a cool incubator, where it has to remain for three or four days. During this time, a minor wonder takes place, for the mold flourishes and advances a stage nearer the day when it will yield penicillin. And this is what it looks like after its stay in the incubator. It's now placed in specially designed flasks for further incubation, but here the process is slower. At the end of three weeks, the penicillin has been formed. It's not the white layer you see on the top, but the liquid beneath it. The precious fluid is taken from the flask. This is the drug which has already saved the lives of hundreds of men seriously wounded on the battlefield, and which has revolutionized medical science. This shows you what the new drug can do. Both tubes contained a deadly germ. Penicillin was placed in one of them, and that is now perfectly clear. The process is still laborious. The next problem is how to produce penicillin in bulk. Scientists are working hard on that job. This is what the wonder fungus looks like under the microscope. It's one of the greatest discoveries in the history of medicine, the result of the work of a British scientist, Professor Alexander Fleming. <laughs>